Let's go find out what we got in the box. Yeah, my daughter's in here today. Yeah. So you're going to hear her say yeah probably like 30 times. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, so we got a dragon. Now, this is from a, a buddy of mine out of California. And uh, I sold him a dragon or two before. And this is the first dragon I bought for him. But he was working with hybrids a while back. And I was trying to get out of hybrids. But now he's working on making sure that red monsters are outcrossed. And that is exactly what he did. And that is exactly why I bought one. I saw him post this picture of this dragon and I was just like, immediately I was like, I need to know what it is, what the parents look like, because I got to have her. It's a female and um, I just opened the top flap. He taped right here. It says read first. And I'm going to read what happened. So essentially he sold me this dragon and uh, on the listing, he had it as hypo het trans. And I was already looking for a female that was het hypo instead of visual hypo because I'm trying to get hypo out of a lot of my reds. Because if you haven't realized the trend that's happening, people are removing hypo or creating less hypos in red because people are asking for the darker reds. And the only way to get a darker red is by removing hypo from it. And essentially that's what's happening. So I was looking for a het hypo, het trans female already. But I saw this female and she was listed as hypo and I didn't care, but I went for her anyways. After a while, he told me, hey, it's actually not hypo, it's het hypo. I just put the wrong information on Morph Market. And I only went to Morph Market because I was just trying to, you know, go through the, the proper channels because he said on his post, it was, um, I got these listed on Morph Market. So I just went to Morph Market so I could see the price, see their information without having to bug him about it. But essentially... This is what he wrote on the inside of this flap right here. It says, QB, because I made a mistake on Morph Market, I'm sending you a complimentary dragon on the house. Hope you enjoy. Now, Steven, I hope this dragon is as good as the other one because, bro, that's that dragon was fire as far as the pictures go. Now, this is Steven from Sapphire Dragons. I'll put his info up here on the screen somewhere. But let's see what we got. Definitely, definitely happy with whatever I get because complimentary dragons are always freaking awesome. But now I'm going to cut the other piece of tape here and we're going to see what's inside. We're going to see what's inside. Yep. Got some stickers. Always appreciate the stickers. I put the stickers all over my incubator if you guys haven't noticed yet. And then my kids like the stickers too because. Oh, snap. He wrote it on the other side. I didn't even read all the flaps, all right? The first one is the double het female that I got. She is a 50% red monster, 25% German bloodlines, and the other 25% is his USA bloodlines. Then the other one's a 75% red monster, which is 100% het trans, 66% het hypo. We'll see what we got in here. Yeah. And um, this is why it's always important to read what's on the box because I did not read at all. I was ready to just get in here and dig and get what I get out whatever I, what I ordered. So, all right. So the first one here is the one that I actually ordered, the one that I paid for. There she is. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but here in a second I'll show you her inside of the photo box. But this is a hypo or sorry, a het hypo het trans. 50% red monster that is also 25% German bloodlines and 25% USA bloodlines. And now Steven, I've been seeing what you're doing for a while. And I've said a lot in my videos that I'm not really a red monster fan yet because I'm waiting for people to outcross them the right way. And boy, you did it, man. You did it. Outcross 100% the right way. There's only three people in the entire USA that I know that are outcrossing the red monsters the right way. And there was one other person, but he started out crossing it with like, you know, yellows and all this other stuff. It didn't make sense. If you want red, you stay with red. I don't, not the type of person that likes to, you know, muddy the water, so to speak. But this girl, super nice. Again, we'll see her when she gets out into the photo box. I just want to show you what they look like right now as I'm talking about it. Now let's go look at the other one. Yeah. Look at that dragon. Yeah. Red. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this other dragon is 75% red monster, and you can definitely tell by looking at it. It's also a leatherback, so we have a 
100% het trans, 66% het hypo, leatherback, 75% red monster. That looks like 100% red monster, no doubt. Um, let me get out of the way so focus on the dragon. And again, we're going to be going to the photo box. I can show you exactly what we have here. But uh, look at this dragon. Red. Red. Green. You saw green? We're going to have to fix that. But those are the dragons. Uh, let's go to the photo box and run through exactly what they are. And I'll also be sexing the other dragon because it was a surprise dragon. So I'm not really sure what it is. But I'll sex it right now. And I'll also sex the one that he sent me that I paid for. But we got two dragons for the price of one because that's my buddy, man. I, we don't talk all the time. I just watch what he does. I guess he watches what I do. But I don't know. But yeah, super cool. Um, let's go to the photo box. Holy moly, look how red this dragon is. Now this girl is 50% red monster, but she looks amazing. And you can kind of see that she kind of has a nice little stripe going on there. And that stripe might work for a genetic stripe. So uh, we'll see what goes on. She looks amazing. She is 100% hypo, 100% het trans. She got a little bit of blue bar in there. Super nice. Super nice. Look at that. Oh, my. Oh, my. That's a nice looking dragon right there. Woo -wee. So I've named this girl Chloe already because she's going to be going to my boy Lucifer. And I'm a huge fan of the show. So she's going to be Chloe. And that's how it is. And uh, there you go. Now let's look at the surprise dragon. The surprise dragon looks phenomenal as well but uh before we do that let's sex this dragon to make sure it's a female so she is definitely a female just lifted her up used the flashlight and everything she's definitely a female now we can look at the 75 percent red monster all right so this one here 75 percent red monster this is actually a male just sexed them and uh again leatherback 100 percent had translucent 66 percent had hypo super nice Look at him. Just look at him. He looks just like an 100% red monster. And this is the best thing. This is why I say outcrossing is the best way to produce red monsters because he still has the look, but he doesn't have... It's 75%. I mean, the lineage is showing you. So one day we will have red monsters that are just red monster bloodline instead of 75%, 100%, 50%, 25%, and so on and so forth. And they're just going to be Red Monster Bloodline, and they're going to look like Red Monsters because eventually the percentages are going to start going down and going down and going down. And we're going to have Red Monsters that are like 1 8th, 1 16th Red Monster Bloodline, and they're going to look like Red Monsters. But super awesome. Thank again, thanks again, Steven. Uh, appreciate it. This guy looks phenomenal. And... Um, if I were to have had a red monster, this would be the way that I would want a red monster. It's being 75% or even 50% that looks like a red monster. I mean, he 100% he looks like a red monster. Awesome looking. All right. We have to freaking figure out a name for this guy. So if you have any name ideas for this little fella, put them down in the comment section. And uh, there you go. If you made it this far into the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. As always, peace. You want to say peace? Yeah. You want to say peace? Peace. Say peace. Peace. There you go. All right, y'all. Now, we're going to show mommy.